Oh, battery, you see? The key to drywall cutter and the 36 volt hybrid vacuum. It's got a HEPA filter. It's got a special additional filter just for drywall dust. What should we do? Should we run it with batteries? We do all batteries so we won't plug it in. Do full mobile on this one. And this is actually the first proper video I've done with this working as well. And we also have a drywall sander. So we can use this with the drywall sander as well. Totally don't need any power at all. Just use batteries. So put the first battery in here. Actually, before we do, coming closer here, we're gonna set this blade to 13 millimeters. So I'll show you how you do that. Just slide this off. And actually, even without the vacuum, it catches a lot of the dust as well. So it has little Allen keys and it has a convenient little spot for this here. And if you look closely, it has a millimeter gauges. And I think the US, uh, they have a different measurement system. It's in inches. I don't know why, because it has fractions of inches and it just gets confusing. Don't you reckon huge? Like, behind the times. Is it behind the times? So, our board today is 13 mil, in Australia generally it's 10 mil. This is 13 mil, and I, I actually know from the neighborhoods I've been doing this so long. That I know that this neighborhood was 13 mil, but it didn't stop us bringing the wrong board the other day anyway. That's another story. So that's how we, we tighten that back up. And some people have said, oh, you got you use a lot of use a lot of blades and they're expensive. Well this is still my first blade. It comes with spare blades, and I'm still my first blade. And as long as you just stick to cutting, you know, drywall or plasterboard or not, don't cut anything else. Should be right and i've even hit screws in hours before as well and it kind of just bounces off you just don't try and go through them kind of bounces off this slides back in that's locked into place actually it came with pretty sure it came with this all the hose came with this can't remember can't remember guys but but that just fits so nice and snug and uh that's it put the battery in ready to go I like how it has this light as well. So, and you can line it up with here. And if you remember, the blade is in line with this. So you keep in, keep in mind of that tab there because you can't see the blade obviously when it's in. So that's where it finishes. That's the guide. Here, I'll just show you quickly. The sound between the two. We did this when we picked it up. This is uh, on mains power. Two 18 volt batteries. Lift the lid. Spin it around here. Doesn't matter if uh, they're not evenly charged or anything. We'll still go. And you actually have battery meters on the front here. If we push this coming close here, it says they're both full. You have your gauge here, so let's put him on. That's on low. Dial it up. Not as strong, but Still gonna catch everything. And we got the uh, aftermarket hose as well. This is an extra long hose. So the beautiful thing is, we can pretty much leave that right where it is. We can walk right over here. And we can work right over here. And it's all battery. It's all battery, you see? Get that right out of the way. 
So let's start our first cut. Alrighty. So to get it going, put the front in. Remember I said that's the line there, so line that up. Put the one in the front up, get it going, and then push it in. And then you're away. So easy, man. So easy. Cut it, it's a fold. Huh? I'll just rip up the guts and then fold that first. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, Eugene just mentioned we uh, cut it in half first in case it's not straight. so heavy.
some bad news here. Now, bad news is it's raining out. We've got a wet top side. So what's that mean? What's that mean? How long ago did they fix it? If they fixed it yesterday or the day before, maybe you'd be, get a bit damp, but... Mm. That's probably stitched, that timber too. Yeah, it is. Fixing when you're doing repairs, don't use this stuff. Eugene taught me that, but the first week and run that out a little further. The further the better. Once we've got it all exposed as well, we can screw right along here, re-screw, and uh, you know, re-screw all of that right along. Uh, if this was 10 mil sheet, it'd be a lot worse. This 30 mil is a lot better. So I'll keep ripping down. What I like about this, uh, yeah, I just cut through there. What I like about this, this vacuum unit doesn't have the um, the wireless Bluetooth on and off, but it has a big switch. You can just hit it with your foot anyway. I mean, you don't need, you don't need that. Stay in the middle. There's a, a rib in the middle. Yeah. 